Hi guys, this is The Clear Factor and today I will make the part one of a beginner's tutorial how to make modular music. However, I'm not a professional in this, so don't be too hard with me. Um, these days came out this really nice software, VCV Rec or VCV, whatever get it, install it, and then we go on. First thing you have to do, you need an audio device. You make right-click, audio device, and put it in your rack. And you have to choose here your um, audio device, your audio driver. That's up to you, okay? To make music, you need sound, and the first thing is a VCO, a voltage controlled oscillator. So pick this one and then we go. First thing is we need another module, it's called VCA. It's a voltage controlled amplifier. Believe me, we will need it and put the level all the way down and then connect the output of this one to this, uh, where is it, in, and the output here, there. And we are listening to exactly nothing. Okay, that's normal. So here we can increase the volume. And it's the first thing you hear in a modular system. Here we go, I'll smoke a little cigarette here. I think this is really boring, annoying. Okay, now you can change the frequency like whoop or like this. But if you're not Brian Eno, mm, it won't be a good track. Okay, so you have to do something to change this. Okay, next thing you need is a sequencer as you. SEQ3 called here and this guy will connect with the oscillator very easy you got three rows and one row with gates but first let's use the the first row okay here we go take this one and here we have an input this is volt per octave this is used to yeah, to change the whatever, the tone, the note, the frequency, <laughs> however you want. Okay, let's listen to this. This is still super boring. Okay, now you can go here and give this one, oh, yeah. you got your first really nice modular sequence okay the truth is, truth is it's still boring because maybe you don't want to play all the notes all the time so what you need now um, is an enveloped generator and okay do a right click here and then we have this fundamental ADSR. Put this guy here. This has a gate input and here you have a gate output, okay? Connect this. Okay, nothing happens, of course. <laughs> Obviously, um, we have to set a gate. Okay, let's, let's do this one, okay? Here you've got one gate. Okay, however, you can set these gates and here you see the sum of this so one two three four only this one okay so let's take this output ah, there ah, here it is okay and use this output 
to control the VCA, this one. The voltage controlled amplifier. Okay, look at this. It's nice. Much better than before. The ADSR, you have a few um, knobs here. Something that I maybe will explain in a later video. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is nice. I'd say much better than before. Here you send, uh, you put the at attack. But now I want something like this. And here you can see the release, how long it's sounding, more or less. Okay, this is nice. But it's still boring, because it's always the same and sound is mm, not a pretty, not that nice, okay. Um, what you can do, put in the filter, VCF, voltage controlled, VC always means voltage controlled, filter, okay. So now, uh, let me see, I'm really new here, I don't see anything, that's not bad. Let's take this output and put it in here and use first low pass okay it's not that interesting so let's change this to a saw okay filter gives, gives you control this is now a low pass filter so you have to change uh, you can change between low pass and high pass this lets pass the low frequencies okay completely opened okay this is still boring but you have this really nice resonance knob interesting okay modular system means you can control with voltage a bunch of parameters so let's control the resonance or the frequency with this guy you have the second row here this is nice okay here you have a frequency input and now see Okay, you don't see anything. Why? Ah, okay. Here you can set a strange. Okay, it's always always this one. Okay, and the thing is, it's still boring. What will we do? Okay, next thing. Let's add another sequencer. This one. And first, to get them um, play together nicely, take the first step and put it to reset here. Okay, now now they are in sync. Okay, okay, and kick this out. Now we will control use this one, but we will control it with the second sequencer. Okay, that's easy. Right click. This is done. Frequency, okay. Okay, nothing happens because I put it here, okay. Okay. 
pay this one. Let's make... Okay, like this. And let's do a few different things. And it's still the same, okay? No problem. Now we can reduce the steps. And let's put the steps to seven. You see here? Okay. And now every... Um, now, you, now it's not a repetition. Now it's really different. Okay, it's maybe still a little bit boring. So let's add another sequencer. Put it in sync. Okay, done. And we can control the resonance as well. So let's take the first row here, control the resonance, and then, yeah, do some... And, of course, let's reduce this to five steps. See here. Okay, still six. Okay, that's it, that's, that's your first lesson, welcome to the modular world, I'm the Cliff Factor and yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video, this is my first one, so don't be too hard with me, more videos maybe later, I don't know when, we'll see, see you guys.